She is the first to step behind enemy lines. Lives of the entire military unit depend on her. Nadia is an army scout. In combat situations, there was everything, mines, booby traps, IEDs. Our enemy leaves a lot of things for us. A scout must clear the path, and then snipers can follow. Nadia is from the west of Ukraine. She joined the army to defend the country in the east as a volunteer and eventually decided to sign a contract with the military. Each mission is different and difficult in its own way. It is very difficult for a woman to be a scout every time you are thinking about not letting the unit down so you don't end up hearing that it was because of the woman that everything went wrong. You try hard to live up to expectations, trying to be the best. Nadia is full of determination. She knows full well why she took up arms. I'll never forget the words of one volunteer. Ukraine can be compared with a mother, a sister or a girl. If she's assaulted on the street, won't you intervene? Same goes here. If they are tearing it apart, if our children and our comrades are dying, one cannot stay at home, especially if you can do something about it. To make sure that stories of Ukraine's heroes like Nadia are told, the army needs press officers working on the front line. Tatyana signed a contract with the military in 2017. She's a junior lieutenant and has come a long way to earn the trust of her comrades. The girl who worked as a medic in 2014 really stuck in my memory. She was from the Donbass battalion. She told how during the heavy shelling her friends were being killed, many were wounded, a lot of blood. She told me how she washed her uniform and the water was all red. It was horrific. I still have chills about that. This year, Tatiana, who at the time was a deputy commander, was offered the job of a press officer. Every day she works with several film crews and does her best to counter Russian propaganda. Previously we did not realize how important the information war is, and at first we were very demoralized. And now I'm proud to bring journalists to these wonderful people who are fighting for Ukraine. They are incredible. They are true patriots, and some among them come from the territories that are now occupied, and they are fighting for their land. Tatiana herself is from the town of Kremina in the Luhansk region. Tatiana knows she is putting her life at risk, but she understands exactly why. I'm here because it is my civic duty. I took the oath of alliance to the Ukrainian people. I am fighting for my territory which was taken away from us five years ago. It's the Donetsk and Luhansk regions and Crimea, the beloved Crimea. I used to go hiking there many times, and I really want to go back. Women make a fifth of the Ukrainian armed forces personnel. They stand shoulder to shoulder with men and are doing everything possible for the common victory. Reported by Anastasia Fedchenko for UATV.